<laughs> All right, I think it's going to be the last video that I'm going to be filming today, and it is on Glossy Box. Yes, another sample subscription service. Um, this is the July Glossy Box. Wait, I'm confused because... Wait a minute. Sorry, I'm a little bit confused because I thought this was the June box, and I think it's supposed to be the June box, but it says July. I did get it at the beginning of this month, but I know they were saying that they were sending it out late, but I'm pretty sure that this is the June box. Maybe they just sent out the July, like, um, glossy magazine with it. I don't know, but you do get the glossy magazine, which has um, just kind of information on some, like, new products and just, you know, fun fun stuff. It's just, you know, nice read, I guess. So that's in there. And then this is the box, as always. It's really pretty. I love these boxes. They're a lot bigger than the other boxes from Staple Subscription Services, and it's a lot sturdier. So this is what's inside. And it says, Summer Simplicity. And let's see. And it is the June box. It says says June 2012 so I don't know why we have the July one but yeah so this is the the June box and let's get into it it's always glossy or yeah glossy box is always packaged so nicely I really enjoy like the way it's put together and then these are the samples so I actually received two boxes this month. I do subscribe to Glossy Box myself, and then the other one um, was kind of a surprise, I guess. I was sent another one to do a review on, but it was actually a good thing because the one of the boxes actually came damaged, I guess. Um, let me see. I tried to clean it up, but um, one of the products that were in the box leaked like all over everything, so you guys can see like the, the wet. It smells really good, though, but um, the product like leaked all over the other stuff so that one I you know probably won't be able to get to use because it was pretty much empty and had leaked all over everything else so it was nice that I had an extra box um, that I could share with you guys that wasn't damaged so let me get into the products um, this first one was actually the product that leaked in the other box and it's by Ahava and it's a mineral botanic velvet cream wash in the scent hibiscus fig and this smells so good. So when I opened that other box the first time I was like, hmm, something smells really, really good but it's really strong. I wonder why. I opened it and it was like all over everything. So I'm glad that I had the other box because it this smells so, so good and I cannot wait to try it out. It just smells really nice. It says it's for sensitive skin. And it's three fluid ounces, so that's a good size. Definitely a great like travel size um, shower gel. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this because, like I said, it just smells so so good. I'm, assu I'm assuming it smells like hibiscus and fig, but just the scent of them together just smells really really nice. And the next thing in the box is this smooth shave cream, and um, it's a two fluid ounce, so that's a good size. Um, again, nice for travel. Um, I don't really shave my legs anymore. Like, if you guys um, saw my epilating video, um, you would know that I epilate my legs now, so there's really no need for shave cream, but you never know. I might um, give this a shot anyway. It says, minimizes nicks and razor irritation, provides a close, long-lasting shave, softens and smooths and moisturizes. And the next sample is from Wella, Wella Professionals, and this is for fine to normal hair, and it's a moisturizing treatment for fine to normal hair and just a little little guy and this is 0.84 fluid ounces and oh it smells good it smells fruity kind of tropical and kind of perfumey at the same time I don't know I'll give this a shot it is made in France it's just a little guy I probably get um I don't really know if this is like a mask or like just a conditioner Let's see what it says. I don't know. It says create free flowing hair with this lightweight treatment containing silk extract that instantly restores your mane. So I don't really know if this is supposed to be used kind of like a hair mask or if you just use it in place of your conditioner or whatnot. I'll have to ooh, go online on their website and read up on it. And the next thing in the box is from a brand called Ofra, and I've never heard of this company either. It's made in the USA, and it's um, an eyeshadow ice in the color Goldilocks, and it's this kind of golden color. And this is supposed to be, I think I read it on the card, 
Um, it says, dab on this primer-infused, color-intensive, creamy eyeshadow and stand out in any crowd. Um, so it's a cream eyeshadow with a built-in primer, and it just comes in this this little like squeeze tube. It looks like a lip gloss tube. It's not like the best packaging. I don't know. I, I'm assuming this is full size, um, and this is $14.95 regularly. Let's see. So let me swatch that. You can see. That's quite pigmented, and this is a cream shadow, like I said, with a built-in primer in it, so that is kind of cool. So I guess you could just use this and just apply that all over your lid and be done with it. So that's that's cool. It's a nice kind of like summery golden color. And then next is this little kind of mini sample set from V Boutte, I think is the brand. I don't know, never heard of this, um, but there's a sample of their Intense Brightening Agent. Um, everyday cream and then a nourishing repair eye cream. These are just really tiny samples, but on the card, the full size of these products are really expensive. One of them retails for $150 full size, $130, $135 full size, and the other one's like $85 for full size. And um, the sizes aren't very big one ounce, 1.7, or half an ounce. That is crazy to me, so even if I end up liking this, I probably won't go out and buy this, which kind of happened to me last month. I received a little um, sample from Amore Pacific, I think was the brand, and it was their, um, like a, what was it called? It was, it was like a moisturizer, basically, and it was really, really nice. I really enjoyed it, but the full size of it was like $100, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't afford that. That is crazy, so good and bad, whoops dropped another one. The good and bad about getting these really high-end products is that you get the ability to try them out and you probably, you know, you, you may or may not be able to have another chance to try out some of these products and you get to experience new brands that are very high-end. I, I wouldn't even know where to find these, honestly, besides a really, like, expensive department store, but um, it's nice to be able to try it out. But the downfall is that if you do fall in love with something, it's really expensive and I can't just go out and buy it like I did with that moisturizer. I really, really loved it, but $100 for a moisturizer, just I just couldn't do it. So even though I enjoyed I enjoyed using it and it was it was a great um, sample to try out, I don't see myself buying it in the near future. So good and bad. Um, and then the last thing is actually an extra and it's a perfume. And um, th there's like four different ones, but this one is Urban Organic and honestly... I don't like it. It's a mix of lavender and grapefruit, and it's just not a very good combination, honestly. It's just not my cup of tea. I like grapefruit scents. Lavender is okay, but these two together just... I don't know. It just didn't go very well for me. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing well, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!